Welcome to My New Day. You know, uh, when we do this program, it's all about good news. We want to give you some great news that you can enjoy your life, love your life with God, love your family, and really invest in your generations. And um, today we've got a guest with us, Dr. Doug White. Yeah. In life, a, a lot of um, situations or issues that we go through can, yeah. be, can feel insurmountable. Yes. We've taken the previous two programs to today, and we've just kind of unearthed uh, you know, some real life challenges, you know, that many are going through and suffering through and they didn't even know it. You know, they didn't know, you know, if anyone even heard my cry or felt my feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, but what, then what we like to do is to bring solutions. Yes. Solutions to these extremely severe, you know, the potentially severe consequences of living in these. And so the whole thing is, is that God has solutions for your life. And so we have with us Dr. Doug Weiss, who's really gonna help us. And you know, he's from Heart to Heart Counseling Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. He's written many books, one of them being Married and Alone. And what happens is when you're married, you can feel very alone if you're not feeling loved and touched and celebrated. And um, not, a lot of people don't know what to do in these situations, but Dr. Doug Weiss is here to help us to involve God in our relationships Amen. and really take some important steps. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, we've been talking about intimacy and anorexia, and there is solutions for that. I mean, you, you can be married and alone, it's going to have gone on for 5, 10, 15, even 30 years. And people change. I had, I had a couple in my office just recently. He was over 70 years old. Wow. They came and did a three-day intensive for anorexia. Mm -hmm. And um, they went back and I, they, we did a phone follow-up about a month later. And the wife says, you know, Dr. Weiss, I don't know what you did with my husband, but this guy is really, I like a lot. Okay. Because he started doing the solutions we're going to talk about here. Okay, there's real practical so it's solutions. it's not too late. Oh no, it's never That's too late. That's the whole thing. That's the whole story. And, yeah. and that it is, intimacy is a result of a known set of disciplines. Okay, intimacy is a result of a known set of disciplines. Anybody mm -hmm. can have it who's willing to work for it. Even if you're starting at point zero, you can have it 100%. Love it. Okay, so even if you're intimacy anorexic, you know what that does? It takes it. the scariness out of intimacy right now because some people hear the word intimacy and say, I have mm -hmm. no clue where to go. But if you can sure. tell me that if I put certain disciplines into place, I will get there, Absolutely. that makes me feel like it, it, it's safe there. Okay, sure. well, then I'll even go there in this conversation. Just, just like losing weight or, or saving money. You can right. do it with this different set of disciplines. And so, anyway, and with the uh, intimacy anorexic, so we're let's talk about the solution side, okay? Okay. Yeah. So on the anorexic, that person would, would have some new disciplines, okay? We call them the three dailies. This is something you do with the spouse. So if you're married alone, this is what you can expect them to do with you, okay? That they, they share two feelings with you every day. And there's an exercise in the book that shows them exactly how to do it. I feel blank when, I first remember feeling. And it gives the anorexic the ability to get their emotional skill up, get that emotional language up, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But you as a spouse get to enjoy it as well because you're sharing your feelings and you're being heard. So they're practicing it goes hearing both ways you that way. mm -hmm. as well as uh, uh, you, identifying you, their own you feelings, seeing them. Okay, and then there's um, uh, two feelings, two praises, where you get two compliments a day, mm -hmm. and, they, and you also give two compliments because one of the characteristics of anorexia is to withhold praise. So instead of going this way, now we're intentionally moving you toward each other. Okay, yes. so you're getting two praises a day. And this is good marriage stuff for anybody. Anybody listening to us could, could do this and do benefit. It. I mean, absolutely, and it's great stuff. I've been doing the three dailies for twenty four or five years with my wife, and it's good. I don't have a bone of anorexia. I just love being connected. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then the last thing is praying together. Regardless of what your God concept is or your God relationships, just pray together. Start having that spiritual intimacy and connection. Okay? Yes. And that, that's the basics. So if they do that every day, then they're in recovery. If they do that, if they don't, then that's a relapse. And they initiate it, not the spouse, but the anorexic so initiates So there's been a few it. days where the the I, anorexic. anorexic has not initiated right. these? Well, they would have a consequence after the first day. Oh, would they? Yeah, oh, tell the me about day. it. They would say, okay, so I'm agreeing to go into recovery with you, and so I'm going to connect intimately with you, the three dailies, and if I miss, I'll clean the bathrooms by 9 o'clock, or I'll give you a 30-minute back massage, or I oh. will cook a pie, or I will, you know, whatever. Whatever it is. Clean that, your car. You yeah. Know, whatever it is. And so, or give money to someone I really don't like. It doesn't matter. So as long as they start having a consequence, then the pain of the consequence becomes greater then what they get the benefit out of by being distant. Mm -hmm. Do you see know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so we're moving them toward each other. Now what happens is the momentum starts building from there, okay? And then there's a the thing where they take their spouse on a date on a regular basis, and then we, there's this thing called the sexual agreement, which is really great for anorexics because everyone should be in sexual agreement in their marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of it's just good marriage stuff. But anorexics, if that's a place where they're avoiding and disconnecting, 
Um, they follow the three guidelines, eyes open, lights on, nurturing conversation. Mm -hmm. So when they're having sex, they're actually with each other, yep. you know yep. what I'm saying? They're not thinking about the ball game or the laundry. Or okay. somebody else. Or something else, okay. And um, so they follow those guidelines and they set up a kind of a regimen, you know, once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whatever, and they rotate initiating back and forth. Every now, week. If, if the anorexic has, has not initiated in years, then they take the first two months 100% of initiation. Just to bring the swing the pendulum over. Just to get them to be a sexual adult. You know what, I'm just going to reiterate what you just said a sure, little slower. You're talking super fast. People are like rewinding. I'm so excited, okay. I'm so excited. Uh, 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 I talk they fast. They can rewatch this show again and okay. again and again. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. I'm so excited. Okay, we're, good. We're finally at where, hey, there's hope for this. Yeah. Okay, good. You but know? I'm just saying, what you just said, to say, to take turns sexually initiating for one week. So you choose, just, just get that a little bit, say that one more sure. time. Sure, well you can come up with any schedule you want. You okay. can rotate weeks. You get week one, you get week two. So week he three, can want it five times that week, I can want it once. But no, it's you my agree week. on your frequency first. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah. this is why we need to clarify. Yeah, you agree on your frequency, X amount a week. Now, it can be where you can say, I want it four times a week and I want it three times a week. Okay, then you can rotate if you want to. But try to get your frequency down. And then you can pick days or split the week or rotate weeks. However, you come up with managing, it's fine. Okay? And then you set up a consequence if that person does not so initiate. So you take turns initiate. initiating for your week. This is my yes. week to initiate. Or, or, next... or my day or however you set it up. Okay. So then, yeah. The That's same... what you call planned sex. Right. And now some couples do that without a plan. That's fine. Okay. But in intimacy and if you and I have okay, not so had if... sex in three to six months or five years, you if want this... a plan. Okay. And so you, this, and this you is... don't want it once and I'll see you in five more years. You want to start having this structure in your marriage so that it begins to look healthy. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you already have a healthy marriage, there's not this. If, you, if your sex life is pretty much mutual as far as initiation. Yeah, leave it alone. Okay. Don't mess with it. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. If you know how to manage money and you're getting Thanks. wealthy. I thought I was going to get a plan. I know. I was like, do I need to make a plan? <laughs> well, the plan does get rid of two, two types of anxiety. The guy's anxiety is wanting to know when sex is going to happen, and the wife's anxiety is wanting to know when sex is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it gets rid of all that. Okay, but we with the anorexic... Anxiety. You got anxiety? Uh, uh, no, I well, anxiety. yeah, I don't think we're going to work on that part particularly. Yeah, so, but yeah, but the anorexic, you can see if they're avoiding sex, how much anxiety that puts in the marriage. Huge. See you know what I'm saying? If it's yes. a, uh, a woman who's withholding the guy's getting sex every two, three, four, five months, he's like, if you're going to get better, we need to have sex regularly. Just that is true. And for, sometimes it's the, the man who's withholding for months and years. Yes. Won't touch her. Yes. Won't connect with her. Won't sleep in the same bed with her. Wow. Okay. So part of the anorexia plan is they actually have sex on a regular basis so that there's no withholding. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. The withholding is what we're trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the anorexia can look at the behaviors that they have and there's a checkoff list and there's a whole workbook for anorexia and support groups and all that. And then for married and alone as well, there's a lot more support and he gets accountable or she gets accountable and they start working a recovery plan for the anorexia so the other anorexics can hold them accountable. You know, in my office, lately I've been leading the group in my office just for fun and it's been really fun because um, how they confront each other is really interesting. <laughs> because in this particular group it's men, okay, because we keep things gender uh, separated. Yeah. And, and, the, and if he starts going off on his wife, right. it's not uncommon for a guy to say, no, have you been doing your exercises? Have you taken her on a date? Have you had sex with her? And if those three answers are no, you don't have an angry wife, you have an anorexic husband still. Right. <laughs> Who's driving his wife crazy. Yeah. Of right. course she's angry. She's not being loved. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. And there's something about another anorexic who struggled with the same thing saying, you're not loving your wife that goes, I must really be bad if that guy's telling me. <laughs> <laughs> you see Did you saying? hear our laugh? We all did yeah. at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, but, it's, it's, uh, but, it, but there is support and hope. That's the whole thing here. This is not something that you're doomed with. This is something that's um, oftentimes the soul has adapted and it can readapt and it can start to love again and give love again if it wants to. Now, that's the one thing no ministry, no counselor, not even God himself can give to you. You have to want to, to give love. Yes. And if you're willing to be married to your spouse instead of married to yourself, okay, that's a big idea because anorexics are oftentimes married to themselves. They protect themselves. They're not protecting their spouse. What you love is what you protect. Okay, so they're mm -hmm. protecting themselves. Mm, I had not heard so that okay. terminology. Oh, it's good. It'll it's preach. It's very good. Okay, what you love is what you protect. So if they're protecting themselves, they're not really loving their spouse. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If they're protecting their spouse, then they're loving their spouse. Okay, so in the anorexia recovery, they move from self to other. Mm -hmm. You know, where they can actually be in your day or in your heart and go, wow, this is a really cool view. Mm -hmm. There you are. 
nice of you. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and it's really fun because I've seen intimacy anorexic women and men really take the journey of recovery. I, I remember, I'll never forget when we, we did the first, um, this was back when VH8, the, the tapes, right? Okay. Yes. And this lady bought a tape with this concept on it and she's like, Dr. Weiss, this is me and I will not die this way. Wow. She's like, what do I have to do? So she did a phone session and told her what she needed to do. They started having sex. She started doing dailies. She just, just start working it. And she was committed that, you know what, I may have been wounded this way, but I'm not staying this way. Right. This may be the enemy's plan for my life, but this is not God's plan for my life. And I'm working on God's plan, not on my plan anymore. I'm done. Yep. And so what happens, like in these shows, hopefully, maybe it exposed some flesh area where there's been some, hey, this is my flesh. Okay, the only reason God exposes is because A, He loves you, and B, He wants to heal you. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? When Jesus said, stretch forth your withered hand, the guy wasn't exactly excited about that whole idea. But as he stretched forth what was withered, it healed. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as the anorexia moves his heart or her heart towards their spouse, they actually heal themselves. So loving the other person helps them heal. Yes. And it's very yes. much fun to watch. And how, now what do we do for the person, um, you talked about the dailies, mm -hmm. I just want to, and the dates, and the sexual initiation mm -hmm. and all that. Those were pretty much the three practical things that we talked about. Right. If we're married and alone and my, uh, my anorex, intimate, the anorexic wants nothing to do with Perfect healing. question, Audrey. Perfect question. Because you're talking about the, the man or woman who's married an alcoholic. Yeah. And they're done with the alcohol, but the alcoholic's not. Right. Right. For them, I would get into a married and alone phone group, mm -hmm. get support for yourself, get, mm -hmm. get people who understand the language of what you're talking about, understand your experiences, mm -hmm. educate your spiritual authorities on this. You know, like I, some, some ladies say, you know, I, I talked to my pastor, but he, doesn't, he, doesn't, uh, he just told me to go home and be quiet. I said, well, here's what you do. Tell him, listen, pastor, make a covenant with me that you will not have sex with your wife until I have it with my husband. <laughs> I said, I then all of a sudden, really well. he will have yeah. compassion on you. Yes. Especially after that third day, the fifth day, the, the, the second or third month. Yeah. He'd be like, I'm talking to your husband. Right. We're going to get this thing straightened out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But sometimes yeah. Christian leaders are so glib about letting someone suffer that in the area that they're not suffering. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, I but do. But educate your spiritual authority and then involve them in the process of either confronting or redeeming or acknowledging that this is a heart that doesn't want to love. Okay, so we have a situation right now. We are working okay. with some, a couple right now. Young couple, mm -hmm. beautiful couple. Yep. Ha um, got pregnant right away on their honeymoon. Mm -hmm. what, wasn't expecting wow. that. Okay, so now he is... Uh, he is very separate. Ever since she found, he found out the news, it's been a big separation. I don't wow, want to okay. be, okay? And so there's a lot of disconnect, a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. What does she, isn't it really a man that has to approach? Men make men. That's what you said on the, sh yeah. on the show. And so men I'm saying, men. what do I do? What does With the her, woman do? Yeah, what does she do? You have her take him to the pastor. Get in the car, we're going to see the pastor. We're going to see the pastor. Okay. And we're going to see as many men as it takes for you to become a man. Okay. I had a guy in my office just very recently. I mean, very recently. And he was a highly educated, very professional, successful guy. He's spending 20 hours a week gaming, computer games. And then he also had a sexual that's a addiction. You know, that's a boy. It's exactly that's a boy. First day I said, listen, uh, you came here for, uh, for self-behavior and pornography, but you are, you are, you're a gaming addict and a sex addict, and so you have to grow up. Yeah. It is big boy time, and yes. we're done with this. Yes. And, man, he got really upset with me. But by day three, he's like, you know, he, he said, I'm going to go home, put my games in a box. My wife's going to have to take it somewhere. I'm never going to know where it is. I'm going to grow up. Because he just had a baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he knows he has to become a man now. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This young man may be, be, may be struggling with not feeling adequate to be a man mm -hmm. or not wanting to be a man. Exactly. He's like, hey, I'm going to have my wife. I'm going to have, you know, you know we're going to have lots of fun. And he had his script. Right. And this wasn't it. Right. <laughs> right. And jerk you know baby. Saying? But he just needs to be, men were designed to be in herds. Okay. Okay. And that's why men make men. Do you know what I'm saying? In Western mm -hmm. culture, we, we avoid tribalness. Yes, we do. Okay. But the church is a tribe. And so mm -hmm. you bring that young man into a few elders and a, you know, a couple guys, 40, 50 years old and say, son, you're a man now. Sorry. You mm -hmm. don't get to play with your boyfriends and go to bars or do this anymore. It is time to figure this out. Right. And then walk with him. In love, In right? love through the process. And that may be a whole year or two. 
to give him the skills and give him that. But a man, men grow men. So she can really force him to go find a man. Yes, she needs to because that's the only way you can make a man. Right. Because her telling him over and over again. She can't again, make a man. Women no. can't make men. That's not helping at all. Women can't make men. Right. I know, it takes me two or three times to get to any I know. I know. Can you say that one more time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but they want to so badly. Oh, yeah. You can only bear them. You can't make them. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what dads are for. And that's what for, and for this young white guy, he probably hasn't had a good dad. Right. Okay. But he needs to adopt a few to help him kind of uncle through that process. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. And that's not that normal. Okay. What, what about, the, let's talk about a, the process and the journey. Um, because I know for us, mm -hmm. it was a process. It is a process. There was yes. a journey. Sure. And all the way through. Um, what, are there mile markers, you know, kind mm -hmm. of, that as, as along the journey, you can begin to look forward to this? Sure. If, okay. if you can see your spouse doing intimacy and anorexia recovery work for 90 days in, intentionally and consistently, you have moved a mountain. They've decided not to be married to them, but to be married to you. Good. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. If they are involved in a group with accountability, major mile marker, because what are they trying to avoid? Intimacy. A group forces intimacy. Good. So it helps them kind of do that thing. Those two things are major mile markers. If they're working their workbooks, making their phone calls. We have the five C's like in any addiction. Pray, read, call, meeting, pray. If they're following that pattern of life, you're moving towards recovery. Okay. We call them heroes. You know, the enemy may have put something in your life, but heroes bust through those things. Yes. Zeros submit to those things. Heroes bust through those things. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. And this is just because something's been identified. It doesn't mean it has to stay in your life. You may be married alone. Someone in our audience may be married alone, but they may be the person like, like Gideon who has to say, okay, Lord, you're going to start with me? Okay, <laughs> I'll start. I'll get the material. I'll get understanding. I'll grow. I'll educate. And then we will deal with this thing. Okay, and there may be a reason why God's maybe talking to his spouse first instead of to the other person first. Sometimes he does that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. And so, great. And maybe you are that person. You're like, hey, this applies to me. I need to get the stuff for me and get the stuff for my wife or my husband so that we can do this journey together. Because it is a journey. There is grief. There is some loss of years and time mm -hmm. and what could have been. But uh, oftentimes when I see the smiles on people's faces of how they are beginning to really love each other, it makes my job so much fun. Yes. You know, yes. They come in on Monday and they don't know if they're going to be married. And by Wednesday or Friday, what, depending if it's three or five days, they're, they're having sex, they're loving each other, they're talking about the future. Because it's, intimacy is a, it's a result of a known set of disciplines. Mm -hmm. You change the disciplines, you can change your results. And again, it doesn't matter how crippled you are. If you start where you are, you can walk and maybe run. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And there's lots of stories about Olympics and other, other sports things where people started with very limited abilities. Yes. But they decided that wasn't their yeah. limit. And everybody loves that kind of story. Absolutely. Everybody wants to be encouraged by those kind of stories. And I know you've seen them over and over and over Absolutely. again. Absolutely. And I also know that there's people watching that say, well, you know what? There's no hope for my marriage. There's not a chance. Mm -hmm. But we want to, there is still always hope for a marriage. There is hope if, if, if both people are willing. Now, if yes. one person's unwilling, that makes it really challenging. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can pray and do what you got to do, but get, get some people involved. Yeah. But there, if you got two willing hearts, God will send you the right information. That's yeah. what God's doing today. Yes. You know, some, some man sitting there who's been frustrated for 15, 20 years, some woman 15, 20 years, and like, oh my gosh, this is what's been going on. Right. God's talking to them. Yes. You're, you know, the um, My New Day people, the family has put together the resources yes. so that that one person, that two person, that 500 people can get touched today. Yes. And that's what the body is about. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the book is going to be extremely helpful, people. Uh, married and Alone, this individual, can they sometimes you know, through this process, almost diagnose the, the, the anorexic and try to say, okay, you need to do this or you mm -hmm. need to deal with that. Is that helpful? Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Understand like what you're dealing some with is obvious helpful. issues in yeah. the background and you're saying, okay. Or does know. that just make them feel more worthless than ever? No, 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 mm -hmm. but it's important. It is the shining light on what's going on is really important. Okay. How a person responds to that is up to them. Now, what happens though is if, suppose, uh, a man or woman says, hey, this is you, and then the spouse isn't really getting it, uh -huh. and then the spouse keeps pushing, 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 
then that can be kind of like, I want you to change so I can have my life the way I exactly. want it. Exactly. Okay. But I'm not willing to do the work I need to do first to get it there. Exactly. And I, I think that it's very important how you present this. Absolutely. I don't want, I want, don't want you guys. I don't want you guys to just watch the show and go, oh my gosh, I'm married to a, uh, you know, an uh, intimacy anorexic. I'm going to get them the book so they can change. I can't wait for them to watch the show. I'm going to force them to sit down and watch this and say, that's who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's, not, that's not loving. If it's presented in that way, it's not. But no. honey, I really right. want to have an awesome marriage with you. And I think I found out what this this brick or wall has been. There you this go. This thing we've been walking around. Yes. Would you be open to maybe discovering something with See? me so that we can have really what we both want? That's an invitation yes. right there. Yeah, that's an invitation as opposed yes. to a declaration. Exactly. And it, that's a better way to go. Yes. Right. Doug, thank you so very much. Uh, people, this has been an awesome series. Uh, one, two, and three today is the conclusion of Married and Alone, and we've just begun. The resources are available. There are many, many uh, more at uh, Heart to Heart uh, Ministries, uh, where Dr. Doug Weiss has authored many books, and mm -hmm. one of them that goes along with this so well is Intimacy Anorexia. Mm -hmm. We'll take a short break. We'll tell you how to get these resources, and we'll be back with Doug, and he's got some real practical advice just to bring conclusion for today's program. is made of walls and beams. A home is built with love and dreams. The dream of a happy home full of God's love isn't just a dream, but God's intention for you. Here at My New Day, we will pray for you, believe in your dream, and get you the tools to invest and build your marriage and family. This book by Dr. Doug Weiss, Married and Alone, will help you understand sexual anorexia and the mysterious condition of feeling alone in your marriage. Plus this three program series on both CD and DVD. Today, your prayer has been answered. It's time now to discover answers and healing for you. Order your bundle today, available for your gift of $40 or more to the ministry of My New Day. As you give, you're fighting for families and making sure that more and more homes experience God's presence. Call 1-800-556-3533 or visit mynewday.tv. Shipping is always included. It is a new day for your family. Continue believing God with your dream. watching the program today. We love you. We hope you feel loved by the Lord today. We just pray Jesus' peace and blessing on you for this week, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of the show. Do you maintain this consistency in your relationship with God? Do you maintain your experience with God? And see, if you're living from mountaintop to mountaintop, then, then here's the thing. You're really not going to uh, trust God in, a, in kind of a practical daily way. You're going to always be looking for the next new thing that can possibly pick you up from the valley yeah. and put you back on top. Happy people give beyond themselves, show compassion and kindness, and pay it forward for others. Everyone wants to be happy, but the ultimate goal? Knowing God. When we know Him, we can trust Him. When we trust Him, we have everything. Here at My New Day, we get to know God together. That's why the guests keep it centered on Jesus and always help us apply God's character and promises to our lives. Help others today by becoming a monthly giver. We make it as simple and secure as possible. And if you see a product on the show that you know you want, you can always apply your monthly gift towards it. Your generosity is extremely important in making sure My New Day continues to help people experience a brand new day full of promise and hope. Join the New Day family. Together we're really getting to know God and paying it forward so others can know His love too. And the happy part? We just can't help ourselves. Call today, 1-800-556-3533. Hello, I'm Jim Richards, and I want to invite you to join me every Thursday for Live Transformed, and then every single day on New Day TV for some of the most incredible programming, life-changing information, anointed teaching that you'll ever hear. I'll tell you, I am hearing reports from people all over Canada who are having their lives transformed by this incredible ministry. And I want to invite you to be a part of this. I want to invite you to give and to share in this because you too can be sure that you'll be able to touch people's lives, prepare people for eternity, and help people get past all the hurt, pain, and shame that life has to give by this great ministry.
I'm so excited for the rest of your life. Yes. I know that I know that God wants to journey you through. I wish it was just a magic wand or we could snap our fingers, but I know that if there is a design in place, that there is so much hope there that there is a future for you. Mm -hmm. uh, Audrey and I, we've, we've been through the, the, a journey and through a season, mm -hmm. but it's a journey to wholeness. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it, through that process, the beauty is that I got to change. Yes, she got to, I change, got to change, you know, independent. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's like, I wish this upon nobody, but the benefit that comes out of it, mm -hmm. yes. you wouldn't exchange it for anything. anything. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, in the midst of it, you think you're crazy. But you know, because this is so horrible. I understand. It really is. But you see, that's Redeemer God. Yes. See, He's redeeming your life. He's yes. restoring you. He's bringing you back to places, places of opportunity yes. where in the past you thought it was gone. I've missed it. You haven't missed it. Right. Your best days of marriage are yet ahead of you. Uh, Doug, help us to close today's program. Sure, absolutely. One of the things I, w I would want to talk to your family here for a minute yes. is I, w I want to say to you that you know, oftentimes when you're in pain, uh, it kind of creates you in a photograph. And you look at this photograph and you say, gosh, I'm in pain, I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. And I validate that. The pain's real. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But what I want to help you with is that you're not in a photograph, you're in a movie. God is making a movie with you. And sometimes in the hero epic, there's a tragedy, there's pain. There's suffering, there's confusion. And then in the next chapter, he brings the right information or the right people into your life. And then there's an integration of that. And then there's this like totally different movie that you never thought. And so you're, you might be in the season of discovering the medicine and then applying the medicine. And then there's a season where you may be used by God to declare the medicine. <laughs> That's what happens every day here. Medicine gets declared and you support that and I appreciate that. You have a season ahead of you. Please don't get deceived into the photograph. You are a movie. Good. Doug. Very good. I love word. the analogy. Yes. I wrote that one down. The book's available from us. Thanks for being with us. Yes. Great hope. Visit our website, mynewday.tv. Share these programs. View them over and over again and get the help that you need. Thank you so don't much. Don't suffer in pain alone. Yes. Thank you so much for making this possible. We love you. Love See you, you next all. time. We'll bye bye. See you. Bye bye.